Welcome back to another bad advertising video. Today we're going to be delving into the world of pawn shop ownerage, I suppose, with Pawn Shop Master. I don't think there'll be a whole lot to this game, I just saw one of the adverts for it and I thought that looks like hot trash, I want to play it. So I'm not going to go on about it too much, I'm just going to show you these these ads and, and what it's like to be the master of your own pawn shop. And that's P-A-W-N, you dirty bastards. Check out this sad sack. Check out this You're sad sack. Looks wow. Like a cheap ring. Oh my Boy, god. You you. Ooh. Jesus, that was harsh. Look, it's not a bad ring, to be fair. It's got a nice little, like, ornament there. But to say it's like, no wonder he, she dumped you over the ring, that's, that's not nice. Look, this guy is hurt. He's broken. Also, what the hell is this pawn shop about? Look at all this crap. Like, this, this weird plane up here. There's a deer with some Christmas lights. And what is this? Bloody Majora's Mask kicking about on the wall over here, above some nice looking guns. What is that about? That is, it's a weird combination. I'm a bit disturbed, to be honest. Let's see. Okay, look at this guy. Ooh, he is wanted. Is that what? You suck. You do suck. You do suck. Do they have those in pawn shops? Do they have a system where, where if you scan a customer's item, it tells you if that customer is is you know a criminal or not because honestly the police should use that to their advantage just set up fake pawn shops all over the place and anytime someone comes in and sells something you're done son all right so clearly the guy who owns this um, pawn shop is an a-hole which is fine I'll, I'll i'll be an a-hole if it means i get to be a pawn shop master myself but let's see what this advert has got yeah oh why do you he's such a wise cracking Piece no of shit, isn't he? Oh <laughs> my god. Use the wow, he's ride. brutal. Look. Hello. Oh, he's wanted. wanted. He's a crook. Oh, look, and it's the same one again. Yeah, that's the same uh, bit before. Once again, busted. Old skeevy Jim here. He just never, never can catch a break. So yes, clearly this game allows you to play as just the the worst person in the whole world just a horrible horrible pawn shop owner i reckon he's a two star on on yelp maximum and now we're gonna step into his shoes and and see what it's like and see why he is so so grumpy and so rude and so willing to insult people's people's personal art like this girl here look she was so hopeful okay here we go we're in tap to start i will is there sound? Doesn't seem to be. Okay, there doesn't seem to be any sound as far as I can tell, but we get to accept or reject this person. Uh, this gold ring, He's, he wants $15 for it. It's worth 40 What a steal! Absolutely I will accept! Haha! <laughs> Sucker! Thanks for the profit! Okay, I can polish it. I guess I'll polish it. Oh, here we go. Oh, okay, there we go. Nice polishing. Look at this. This is a lovely ring, actually, isn't it? And we got a ton of value for that. Wow. Let's let's sell it. Quick sell. 66. You've got it. Good $51 profit there. That was good. Okay, who's next? It's the same guy again. He's back. Okay, it's a piece of shit um, artwork. And he wants $300. Absolutely not me. Get away. Yeah, you better cry about it. Go on, scram. No, wait, he's just he's just gone back. <laughs> he's just gone around the back. I think he's breathing down my neck right now. Okay, another gold coin. Once again, she is asking for way less than it's worth because she's an idiot. So let's accept it. Ah, oh, look at that. We're we're pawn newbie officially. Awesome. Let's polish this shit. Polish, 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 polish. Da da da. Look at that. That is beautiful. Wow. That like doubled its value. That's crazy. Look at this. 98. Good profit of 78. That is very nice indeed. I will take that. This is not a hard game. Uh, I would not like to leave a kill rating for you, Pawn Shop Masters. Oh god, no, they've not liked that. They've closed it down. <laughs> What's happened? Okay, we are back. The game crashed when it asked me to rate it and I said no. So I don't know if that's just the emulation I'm using or if the developers really are just that bad of people. <laughs> Who knows? But we are back. We can continue, and now we've got an ad. Okay, who have we got in? Here we go, who are you? Uh, you want a thousand. Oh wait, you want one ring for a thousand dollars. Um, sure, do I have a ring? Yes. Ah shit, I don't have a ring. Oh no, never mind. Soz, I would love to take your money, but I don't have a ring. Okay, so you don't need to sell. Ah, oh, I shouldn't have sold that shit. I could have, okay. I could have got a thousand dollars there. Oh! Oh, look, she's wanted. Oh, 
Oh god, okay, we can call the police, this is exciting. Obviously, look, you should have taken your mask off at least. So, she wants $200, it is... It is worth a lot. I'd make a big profit on this. Or I call the police. What a what moral conundrum we've got. I'm gonna I'm gonna take it. Hell yeah, let's sell this. Look, only five hundred dollars for reward. Excuse me, I'm gonna get like two grand off this shit. Let's polish it down. Very nice. Look look at this gold statue. This is a delight. Wow, seventy percent self. Look at this. We got three grand for that. We we made a twenty eight hundred dollar prop. We could. That was way better than ratting them out to the police. We completed day one. It's official. Um, we've got a rank. That's great. I don't care. Can I continue? Do I have to claim three times? Or can I... Okay, no. There's a small no thanks down there. Did you see that? That was ridiculous. Okay, day two, I presume. Uh, someone else is wanted today, but that's fine. This person wants uh, this knife. $70. It's worth $150. I will absolutely accept that. And I will give it a polish as well, actually. Because um, there's no reason not to, really. There we go. Good... Value? I think I'm gonna keep this just in case someone comes in and offers a grand for some random gold rusty knife. I have a great deal for you. Okay, Should, I don't want to watch a video so go away. Get out of here you weirdo. Yeah, you go around back and I have to watch a fucking ad anyway. Oh my god. Okay, continuing. Adless maybe. We'll see. This person has this thingy, uh, story, this painting and it is, look, it's worth more than what he wants, so I will accept. Why would I not? Is, is there a way to lose this game? I'll polish it, make it look nice. It's literally Bango's Starry Night. That's good. Um, should probably be worth more than $409, but that's okay. We'll, we'll hold on to it because we can just sell it later. Okay, you want one coin. I don't have a coin. Look, here. Can I give you the dagger? No. God damn it. They want the wrong things, these people. Uh-oh, look, hello, we've got a little... Ooh, grab that money, grab that money. Oh, is it a fucking ad? Are you kidding me? Okay, no, it's not an ad, it's just crashed the game. Because uh, of course it has. Well, that was Pawn Shop Masters. What a crock of shit. Uh, I, I mean, I, I don't think it was going to get any more interesting, honestly. I think that was kind of its limit. You just buy stuff for more than it's worth. I guess maybe if you did the like didn't arrest someone and the police caught you maybe you'd get like a fine or something i don't know but it literally just feels like the weakest kind of game they could come together and just cram as many ads as possible into it so i'm done with it however i will say it was pretty much identical to the ads just without the volume like there's no volume whatsoever and it did definitely show me why that pawn shop owner was such an asshole because i feel like an asshole just for playing that game so thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed the video please do feel free to like and subscribe because i'd very much appreciate the light is going crazy in here and i will see you all next time